So I just got loaded in Arcola, Illinois, headed to Smyrna, Delaware. It's gonna be a fun little ride. That's a pretty light load, 6,000 pounds. That's super light. You know, I'm glad because I am gonna go through some mountains up in West Virginia on I-68. It is a little chilly, like 55 degrees, a little bit of wind, but I'm about to pull up and let's see what I got in my trailer. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> I'm about to look up, see what company it is, but it is super light. It's on about a day and a half trip, 800 miles. Should be there tomorrow, no problem. So apparently what I'm hauling is cleaning supplies. You know, if I maybe if I did some cleaning around the house, I would recognize the name, Libman. If, probably if I would mention the name to my wife, she'd probably recognize the name. You know, I don't think she uses it to clean around the house, but that's what I'm hauling. Uh, cleaning supplies. And I am headed to a Walmart distribution center in Smyrna, Delaware. So it's gonna be a pretty cool trip, this one. You know, I'm excited to see what what the view is going to look like. I, I can't remember if I've been through Delaware. I wanna say, you know, a small sec. I believe there's a small section I-95, but maybe you know, 30 miles, probably less. But this time, I'm, I'm, I am going to go into the state of Delaware. Yeah, so this is gonna be the current route that I, I'm on. You know, almost 800 miles, about 13-hour drive. So starting off in Illinois, gotta go through Indiana, Ohio. Uh, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware is right here. There's my delivery. See, Delaware, is, it goes all the way up to around right here, and this is the section that I've been on, I-95. It's just a few miles right here. But coming down, you know, I'm gonna split Washington and Baltimore. I'm gonna split right in the middle and then go on towards Smyrna. It's gonna be pretty nice little route this is all mountains right here I hate going through here but I'm pretty light 6,000 pounds so it's not gonna be too bad I just stopped at a rest area. I just got into Maryland, about to eat some lunch and such a pretty nice place around here. I'm gonna get my drone out. Beautiful view out here at this little rest area. Uh, 
from here on out, I don't think there's gonna be very much mountains, but all, all the way up to this point, it's just been up, down, up, down, up, down. Pretty heavy in the mountains on I-68 in West Virginia, you know, Pennsylvania, all this area. But, man, I gotta, I gotta get a haircut. I'm probably gonna try, try to cut my hair this weekend, find somewhere to do it at, but, yeah, I'll see y'all over there. distribution center you know every time I go to a grocery distribution center like Walmart you know HEB or Cisco or McLean any grocery I always plan to be there like five hours like four to five four to six hours is like the average time every time I go to a grocery distribution center so I got here at 6 30 was my appointment time and I was planning to be here till around 10, 10.30, which I was not too far off because I got here 6.30 and it is 9.30. So it took about three hours. So faster than normal. You know, so I got the uh, appointment time, 6.30, arrived at 6.35, unload start time, 8.00. Paperwork available nine. So I gotta go find my trailer and gotta hook up to it. They make you unhook from the trailer and make you wait at the little waiting area. So let's go find my trailer. There it is. Seven zero zero four. Got here to Walmart. Let me get some groceries and stuff. Get some little things. So yesterday I came to a Walmart, right? I went came to get some groceries and stuff, but the Walmart security guy told me I couldn't park overnight there. So in the area that I'm at, so I'm like 10 miles away from my pickup. My pickup not till Monday. Yesterday was Saturday. So I needed to find a spot to stay for for Saturday night and Sunday night, but the only area that I could find was here at a Walmart, but they told me I couldn't stay the night there. But he told me I can come over here where I'm at right now. He told me I could park right there, but he just told me that because he wanted me off the Walmart property. And it, it's a real tight area, it's sort of a, Little islands, you know, it's, it's not meant for trucks. And I was trying to park over there at the Walmart, but he told me no. And check this out. No truck beyond this point, you know, get towed, etc. So last night I stayed there. I didn't have any issues. So hopefully <laughs> I need one more day to make it in the clear and and yeah he, he just didn't want me on the walmart property but right now i'm walking towards the there's a barber shop there's a little shopping center over here and there's a barber shop i'm gonna see if i can get a haircut because i'm looking rough out here and i wish there was a truck stop or something nearby like i said there's nothing nearby i'm in i'm between washington and Baltimore and no truck stops available or that would have been my my first place to go there's a lot of a lot of little restaurants I might check them out I'm gonna go to the to the 
to the barber shop. Hopefully they can get me in today. I've seen a lot of a lot of trucks they get a boot on their steering tire. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully nothing happens. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what the heck this guy did to my to my mustache. But it is not looking right. He did pretty good for the haircut. Man, I just can't. It just looks so weird. Let me see if I can get a light going on. He didn't even touch the top. I told him to keep it short, get a little bit short on top, but he didn't even do anything to the top. Look at this mustache, man. Oh, let me see if I can get better lighting. This looks all jacked up right there. Man, this is looking crazy. I might just shave it off. I don't like the the hard lines. I'm not a fan of the hard lines like that. <laughs> Bruh, it looks crazy, man. But check it out, I was walking around my truck. No overnight parking. They still haven't told me nothing. But there's somebody staying over there. A homeless person over there. Hopefully I didn't disturb him too much. But I'm just chilling here. I mean, I haven't been doing nothing but hanging out in my truck. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off right here. Tomorrow, I have to go pick up in Washington, D.C. So, I'm going to like the middle, downtown to a convention center in Washington, D.C. I've been there one time before, but I'm gonna go ahead and look over my map right now. I'm gonna start planning right now, see what roads I'm able to take, cause you know, you got a special truck routes, you know, you got bridges and all that stuff, so. I'm fixing to do a little bit of uh, research to what roads I can take and where not to go. I'll see y'all in the next one.